What's up guys, V here, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to install a graphics card into your PC. Now a couple things to keep in mind, every case is different, sometimes the screws for the GPU are on the inside of the case, sometimes they're on the outside like this case, some cases are bigger, some cases are smaller. Now as I mentioned, these screws for the GPU are on the outside and I only have two slots right here and as you can see I already took the pieces out just because I already had a GPU in here but typically these will be covered with some sort of mesh or like a little metal plate or something and typically you'll want to take out the screws, on this case they're in the back here, so you'll, you'll want to take out those screws and those pieces will fall out to allow for this to fit instead of those. So on a normal sized case, what you're gonna wanna do first, grab the GPU by the body, don't grab it by the fans, and you're gonna wanna kinda line it up with your slot, your GPU slot, and see which two pieces are gonna have to come out in order for your GPU to fit. So in this case, I only have two, so I already know those are the ones that I need, but on your case, it might be like the second one from the top, the third one from the top, depending where your slot is. The next thing I really want you to remember is your power supply does play a big role. As you can see with this GPU, it has only one eight pin. Your GPU might have a six pin, it might have no pins at all. So this part of the video might not even apply to you. Like this tiny little GPU, it's a GT710, it doesn't have any anything that you gotta plug in besides plug it into your motherboard and that's it. GPUs like this, take power from your power supply. Always keep that in mind if you got a GPU with two times eight, some of them have a eight pin and a six pin, etc. So you'll wanna make sure your power supply has enough PCIe power cables to power your GPU. Now with all that out of the way, first thing you're gonna wanna do is, like I said, remove those little covers on the back of your case. So take your Phillips head screwdriver and we're gonna go ahead and on this case there's this little door thing that you have to unscrew a little bit and then pull it back just like that so you have enough space to fit the GPU and then you would remove these screws right here. Keep these handy, do not lose them, you will need them. If your case didn't come with screws in here, because some, some don't, they do come with your case. If your case isn't brand new and you don't have access to these, I'll try to link some of these in the description in case you want to buy some. So now we got both of those removed and the GPU is almost ready to go in. On this motherboard, I only have one PCIe slot right here. That's where the GPU is gonna go in. Your motherboard might have several, it could have three, but I always put it on the on the top one. That's the main one that you're gonna use. So if you have three, you would just go on the top one. The next step is to push this little thing in until it clicks, just like that. And now the GPU is ready to be installed. So grab the GPU again by the housing, wiggle it in there. I have things in the way, so I gotta move them out of the way. And once it's aligned, you just wanna put just enough pressure until it clicks, just like that. Now what you're gonna do is take those screws that you took out and you're gonna wanna hold the GPU in the position that you need it to be in and start threading those screws back in. With my left hand, I'm pushing the GPU up so it doesn't sag or anything. They don't have to be too tight, just basically snug so the GPU doesn't move. There we go, and like I said, on this case, there's this little sliding door thing. Just push it all the way up. Now, as you can see, the GPU is fully installed. The only thing left to do at this point is connect your PCIe power cables, unless you had a GPU like this in there. In that case, you would be completely done. Turn it on. You're gonna wanna install the, the graphics drivers, depending if it's AMD or Nvidia, which I will do at the end of this video if you wanna stick around. So let's go ahead and plug in the PCIe power cable. All right, don't mind the crazy amount of cables back here. I got a lot of devices, RGBs. This is kind of what you're looking for. Most of them will say something along the lines of PCIe on it. Some will be red like this. The other way you can differentiate them from the, there's another one right here. I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of tucked away. That's for the CPU on the motherboard. They look very similar, but that one splits four pins and four pins. The GPU one splits six pin and two pin. Like I said, some GPUs only have six pin, some have eight pin. So this is what you're looking for. So what you would do with this is you would feed it through the bottom which I'm gonna do here, and try to feed it through as best as you can. In this case, I don't have too much space, and uh, there's only one real way you can plug this in. There's a little clip that clips on here. Sometimes it's upside down, and sometimes it's upside up. In my case, 
it's upside up with this little clip thing on top. So I do need all eight pins. So I put them together. There's like this little, little tiny notch right here that kind of lands on top of this one. So I just put them just like that. And then you just push it in until you hear this click, just like that. And now it's fully connected. You can tuck your cable in like I did, just so it looks as good as possible. But basically you're done with this portion. I do have a cable extension. It's white and black to match the case. All you do with this, if you do wanna use a cable extension, I'll just include this in the video. So you'd match this side up, plug it in just like you would in the GPU. I would push this back through obviously, but just to show you, it's the same exact cable, six plus two. And then this would just plug in like normal and I'd tuck this obviously away. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and show you how to install the proper drivers for your GPU. Okay, that's all cleaned up, put back together. As I mentioned before, your monitor cable will be plugged into your GPU from now on. So basically if you had onboard graphics and you were using your motherboard like you see here, you would unplug it from that and then just plug it into your GPU. Once you turn on your PC, it may not always right away show picture. Just give it a, a, a few minutes at least and wait for it because sometimes these drivers will automatically kind of install themselves, but all the basic drivers will still need to be updated. Okay, so as far as drivers goes, you typically have two options. You have AMD or Nvidia. In this video, I use the AMD card, so I would need Radeon Adrenaline or something like that. So you go to this website. I will have both of these websites for AMD and Nvidia put up in the description down below. So you can just click on them and download them directly from there. But for AMD, basically I go to this website. You can select whatever you want manually. Just to make things easier on me, I just click download now on here. And basically what this does is it auto detects and installs updates for Radeon graphics and Ryzen chipsets. If you have Intel chipset, no worries. It'll just ignore or the Ryzen part and it'll download whatever your computer needs. So you hit download now and then you go through the install process of that. For Nvidia, I'll also have this link in the description. Go to this website here, you download GeForce Experience, hit download now, go through the install process just like any other application. Once they're installed, you open them up. I do believe you have to sign into Nvidia. I don't know if there's an option to skip the sign up process and then you go ahead and install the proper updates. If it doesn't search for updates itself, you can click check for updates or whatever it is in there, install all the updates and you are completely finished with your GPU install. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, it would mean the world to me. If you just gave it a thumbs up, it really helps out the YouTube algorithm and my channel. So with all that being said, thank you all so very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you like this type of content, PC builds, PC related, technology related, feel free to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Peace.